the hallowed grounds brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. Welcome into this week's episode of the hallowed grounds. Ogden Golf and Country Club as always. Colton Swan everybody. Utah football linebackers coach we're on the 10th hole. This is a par four. Fun little track and uh, Swanee this is how this thing works right. If you beat me on this hole we go to the next hole. If you hit it closest to the pin this Bushnell wingman is all yours. If not, we won't let you leave empty-handed, courtesy of uh, Heva Golf uh, and or you into golf. So, uh, Absolutely. It's Consider all yours, it a win for me. I know, free golf and, and <laughs> right. prizes. Uh, your tee box. Your right, I'm left, it's fair. The beauty of looking for a golf ball in the rough. Hey, do you mind informing people how you got to Utah? No, not at all. Just about how my path from Weber State and all the way up. Well, like, who was the first phone call you made? I think I called Tom Hackett well, the very hello. first one. Hello. I don't Hello. <laughs> yep. And you give me a call. Absolutely. And you say you want to put a word in. I say, of course, would love to. Yeah. And I called, uh, I, I didn't call, I saw Coach Witt. And I said, I've got a coach that I want to recommend. He says, who is it? I said, Colton Swan. He goes, he's up at Weber. He goes, I don't want anyone from Weber. <laughs> I said, no, no, I promise, he's good. You'll love him, he's been up there forever. He goes, no, I don't want anybody from Weber. I want somebody that's had defensive coordinator experience. And in my head, I'm thinking, you aren't gonna find anyone. After the bowl game that year, I said, did you ever get a hold of Swanee? Yeah. He, uh, and I could tell it stung him a bit. Cause he didn't want to admit to me yeah. that I was right the whole right. time. Right. And he goes, he's meeting with Scally in, uh, in a couple days. Yeah. And then I tried calling you and you wouldn't answer because he told you not to tell anybody and I was the one that got you the damn Probably job. Probably because I didn't want to jinx anything. Not very! Uh -oh. He's he's on what I call 36th Street. <laughs> I'm in trouble right now. Hey, would you call yourself a cowboy? I would consider myself, yes. But now you live in Morgan. Now I live up in Morgan. Yeah. How would you best explain to the people watching this show what Morgan's like? <laughs> well, for people that haven't been to Morgan, it's pretty small. How big? It's quiet. It's beautiful. I'll concede. I have to phrase the question correctly, but how would you best describe the culture at Utah football? I've been around six different head coaches, right? And the culture at Utah is one of the best I've ever been around. Uh, I think it's exactly what a team needs in order to win football games. Uh, it's a tough game. I mean, you and I have both played it. Uh -huh. uh, I think you have to have that tough mentality, that mindset. And uh, if you don't preach it and you don't practice it and you don't work on it, then come Saturday, you're not going to have it. Uh, and that's what I think Utah football is all about. How about Washington Boulevard? That is on the road. <laughs> yeah, it was. Swanee, uh, although it wasn't your day, <laughs> we, uh, we had a blast as we knew we would. Thank you for coming on the show. Uh, it's your choice. We can get you a foursome up to Heber Valley Golf. Okay. Or, uh, or a $100 gift card to you into golf. You don't have to make a decision right now. We can talk about that at a later date. In all seriousness, best of luck for the season. Uh, Thank you. Love you dearly, and uh, thanks for coming up here on the show. Tom, thanks for having me, man. It's a pleasure. Con Swan, everybody. All right, Patrick Fishburne, you saw him uh, play rather impressive. Hey, his strength, one of his many strengths, I should say, is uh, his driving ability. So, Patrick, in a minute or two, if you could just explain kind of your setup, some of the things you, th you think about when you step up on, on a tee box and, um, and, and how you are able to generate so much power. Yeah, so the first thing I do when I'm looking at a tee shot, I try to pick a small target, and so I'll... With this shot, I'll pick that tree in the distance and try to pick a really small target and focus in on that. If I look out there and just think hit fairway, then my miss is going to be huge. And So what a lot of the people do that I think, the guys that I play with, they hit down on the driver. Their angle of attack is down, which creates a lot of spin and a, a lot of dispersion in their shot. And so what I think about with the driver is hitting up on it. And the way I do that is I start with a little wider stance. I put about 60% of the weight in my back foot about 40 in my front foot. And then I just think about having a lot of width and a little pause at the top and just let it go. Wow. 
but the other thing I will say quickly before we go is you, you tee the ball up quite high. Yeah. I feel like in comparison to most people I play with, granted, I think you're the first pro I've ever played with. Do most pros tee it up as high as you do? I think so. It just depends on the shot you want to hit. If I want to, if there's a wide open hole that I just want to send one, then I'll tee it as high as I can and just try to launch it as high and far as I can. But if it's a narrow shot or something that I just want to get one in play, I'll tee it down and kind of hit a, a punch cut type of shot. So it kind of depends on the hole. That's cool. Patrick, it's been a pleasure. That's your uh, pro tip of the week brought to you by Nateway Subaru. Hi, I'm Maddie. I work at Uinta Golf and I'm one of the shoe experts here. We're going to kind of go over basically what we have here in our store. We have great options for everybody, every type of golfer, every level of experience. We have high-end shoes that are great for waterproofing. Echo is one of our best when it comes to quality. Most comfortable, definitely high-end leather. So it's definitely our highest price point here in our shop, but it's a big seller. We absolutely love these. We also sell women's golf shoes. This is definitely our most popular women's golf shoe right now this season. It's lightweight, colorful, goes with every outfit. We have a range of every golf shoe. We also sell some with the replaceable spikes. This is probably the biggest decision golfers make when they come in to buy golf shoes, whether they want to go with more of a spikeless casual shoe or more of a traditional replaceable spike shoe. We definitely have a wide range of options for our customers and it makes it really helpful because then you can always find the perfect shoe for you. Golf for days in Heber Valley at one of five beautiful mountain courses. Wasatch Golf Course, Soldier Hollow Golf Course, and the Homestead Golf Club are all within seven miles of each other. Enjoy the feeling of getting away without the long drive.